In this video, we're going to go from this image to this image using Topaz Gigapixel. So here we are in Topaz Gigapixel version 8, and I've got this tiny image here as a starting point. The original image size is 384 by 256, so we're talking about a very low res image here. And what I'll do straight away is in the top right hand side, I'm going to go to the upscale factor, and I'm going to choose 6, because I want to boost this straight away to make it sort of something over 2000 pixels on the longest edge, something around that point, which for me is a good kind of what I'd call an everyday digital image or small print sort of size. So now we can see we've got this a default selected on the standard upscale mode and even if I just did that if I hold down the left mouse button here and do and let go a before and after you can see what an amazing job the um, standard models even done on that low res image it's brought out a load of texture and everything like that but it still doesn't look like a, a, a sort of it still doesn't quite like a realistic image in terms of some of the some of the fur has just kind of lost its um, fidelity a little bit too much even for the um even for the standard model to kind of resurrect it does look good but it could look better so in this instance i'm going to go down to the generative models and i'm going to go on redefine now this uses or it can use credits so i'm not going to go into this too much but you can purchase credits from topaz now and it allows you to use their cloud render service which helps to um, render these really GPU intensive processes like the generative models um, very quickly using their servers rather than your local machine. Now if you've got a more powerful computer than I do, I've got an M1 MacBook Pro, um, so if you've got a more powerful Mac or PC, you possibly don't even have to use any credits and you can run this locally for free, it just it just take forever for me to show you, so I'm just going to use a couple of credits to do this, but um, go into credits in another video, I'm not going to talk about that too much here. So the settings we've got here, I turn. this might be off as default, so the redefine model, it'll come up with creativity slider and then nothing else. And you can just run it like this if you up this if you want it to be simple, but I highly advise clicking the advanced settings tab to open the rest. Now it's briefly how this works is, if you ran this now with everything at minimum, everything at one, one um, the image would probably look not look much different to what we saw a second ago with the standard generic model. The beauty of this is in when you start to bump up the creativity and the texture slider, you're basically allowing Topaz to, um, as it suggests, be more creative with what it generates for the image. So it will generate new textures and it will sort of take creative liberties, uh, more so if you increase these sliders even higher. Um, the higher you increase the sliders, the basically the more license you're, the more freedom you're giving it to sort of come up with new things to make the image look as realistic as possible up to a point and um, so it's a balance between making it possibly look better and more realistic versus not as authentic to the exact original image so for something like this if you've just got this image and you just want a nice picture of a panda you could crank this up to I'll probably do three and three for example um, but if this was a very specific panda or if this was a portrait of a person or something like that you'd want to keep this really low, otherwise it will start to change details on the face that will make it non-recognisable as the original subject. So if it's something that's subjectively creative, you can go wild with this, um, and if it's something you need to be more authentic and need to be more true to the image, then you need to stay on the lower side, maybe like twos, definitely twos, or maybe even one of the previous original models. But for this example, I'm going to go three and three, and the image description down here, you don't have to fill this in at all, but it does help if you could just give it a little description. So I'm going to put panda in front of green leaves. And all this is for is if the um, if Topaz can't automatically determine what type of image it's looking at and what kind of text it's looking at, this will help to push it in the context. So when it's creating new textures in the in the screen and coming up with new details as part of the upscale then you're going to just help it push it in the right direction we absolutely don't need to do this so once we've done that we've got three three um, and panda in front of green leaves now i'm going to click this button down here cloud render and it says two to indicates two credits in the top right hand side it shows i've got 32 credits left so i'm going to click this and it's then just going to give me a reminder saying this will cost you two credits and go OK and it will fly over to this cloud queue here on the left hand side and that will then just sit there and take as it says about in this example about 20 seconds 
to process this and it will spit out our final file. Now, of course, like I said, you don't have to use credits for this. You can choose not to use um, you can choose not to use the credits if you've got a more powerful computer. You could just click straight to go to the export image button here and export it normally. But in my case, it would take a lifetime. And as you can see, that's done already. So if I go into that, and you can see I've been experimenting with this image quite a bit. And now I'm just going to click that, and it's going to go to my downloads folder, which is open on my other monitor. And if I open that image, there you can see our final result.